guys this is me gadgetic here here to rate the top five processor manufacturers for phones the processors and the manufacturers that i have considered for the making of the video are the apple's a series of processors the intel's atom series of processors the mediatek's mt series of processors the samsung's exynos series of processors and the qualcomm's snapdragon series of processors I know I have missed out on the high silicon and other few processors which do manufacture for, for phones but they do not manufacture on such a large scale and are not so important and are not considered by other people too as processor manufacturers that's the reason I have not taken them in this video. Now coming to the Apple A series of processors they have the worst performance that too in their own home I mean the camera is their own the screen is from their own company the batteries are from their own company, the processor is from their own company, the body is from their own company, everything is from their own company. And still the worst processing, that's not actually good for some processor. Actually I am I know many people like Apple and would say that this is the best. But I have faced many processing, uh, misprocessing and lag while with this processor, the A8X, which is in the Apple iPad Air 2. In that I have faced many lags, especially while typing long texts, all of a sudden everything hangs and it just goes boom. And after 5 minutes it just goes boom and everything blows up. Some, I have I have a feature that speaks out all the misspelled words and so everything speaks out. That's the problem. So 0 out of 5 for that. It's the fourth highest used with 32 plus devices running on it. Two points out of five for that. It's the fourth highest clock at an average speed of 1.3 gigahertz. Two points out of five for that. And it has least cores. 1.5 cores on an average. One point out of five for that. And coming to the averaging of scores, it gets zero plus two plus two plus one out of 4 which is equal to 5 out of 4 points or 1.25 points on average. Next the Intel Atom series of processors. They have the second best performance that too in partnership phones that is from Asus. Asus and Intel are in a partnership and there are also ads coming up Intel and Asus in search of the best or something like that. So but still it's considered it should be considered as non-partnership performance because Asus uses the RAM from someone else, the camera from someone else, the screens from someone else, so it should again be told that it's not completely from Asus though. And Intel also has a few phones from Lenovo. And it barely finds any lag and the people don't find any lag in fact to say not barely any lag but no lag completely. There will be some lag which most processors do have. So and that too in some other phones. So 515 for that. It's the least used with about just 15 devices running on it. And that's actually quite less. Which says that it's the least opted out of all the processors. So 1 point out of 5 for that. It has the highest clock all over, over all the processors at an average of 2.3 gigahertz. That's whopping. And for that, five points out of five. It's the fourth highest. It has the fourth highest number of cores at an average of two point four. That's just above Apple. It's one point five cores. That's bad. Two points out of five. And averaging its cores, it gets five plus one plus five plus two out of four, which equals into three point two five points out of five. Now, coming to the MediaTek MT series of processors, they have the fourth best performance. That too, in foreign phones, I mean, in phones to which they have no connection basically. They come in almost any phone. They also come in the Goo phone, which makes copies of the Apple iPhones. And it also runs on the MediaTek processors. Because it's just the fourth best, so two points out of five for that. 
and is the highest used with over 456 phones uh, that is devices running on it I mean the models actually running on it that's great so 5 points out of 5 for that it has the lowest clock at an average of 1.2 gigahertz lesser than Apple and so 1 point out of 5 for that it has the highest number of cores at an average of 6 cores and with the rumors that say it's going to make a 10 core SOC its average is going to grow up 5 points out of 5 for that now averaging its overall scores 2 plus 5 plus 1 plus 5 out of 4 which is equal to 13 out of 4 which is equal to 3.25 points out of 5 on an average now coming to the Samsung Exynos series of processors it again has the worst performance that to in its own home that is it has its own camera it has its own screens it has everything manufactured by itself and still the worst performance I know many say that Samsung Exynos has better benchmarks than any other phone and it's one of the best it's better than Snapdragon and many others so I want to explain that I had taken four Samsung phones the S4 the J7 the Grand GT 1058i and the Samsung A7 and what I had noticed that all phones hang at below 50% with both the sims on without any sim and below 85 with both the sims on and at battery levels below 70% with one sim on and in fact they hang also on the home screen that's actually very bad for a phone 0 points out of 5 for that is the third most fused with over 248 devices running on it good 3 points out of 5 for that and it has the third highest clock with an average of 1.6 gigahertz 3 points out of 5 for that it has the highest cores at an average of 6 cores which is almost equal to the MediaTek and 5 points out of 5 for that Aver coming to the averaging of its cores it gets 3 plus 3 plus 5 out of 4 which equals 11 out of 4 which is 2.75 points out of 5 on an average lastly to the Qualcomm Snapdragon series of processors they have the best performance and have rarely found any lag yes a few phones do complain about the lag but maybe the manufacturers may have underclocked the device or something for less heating issues or something so and that too in a foreign performance I mean as you know it works on phones which have no connection with it and still it manages to give one of the best performance in fact the best performance not just one of the best is the best performance 5 points out of 5 for that it's the second most used with over 362 devices running on it that's actually way lesser than MediaTek's 456 though but still it's the second most with 362 devices running on it 4 points out of 5 for that is a, it has the second highest clock at an average of 1.85 gigahertz wow that's so less because the intel's average that's the highest was 2.3 gigahertz and this is 1.85 quite less so 4 points out of 5 for that it has the highest scores again with an average of 6 scores and has 5 point, gets 5 points out of 5 for that now averaging its scores it gets 5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 out of 4 which equals 18 out of 4 which equals 4.5 points out of 5 at last a processor that has scored over 4 now declaring the positions of the top 5 the winner at the first position is the Qualcomm Snapdragon series of processors at 4.5 points out of 5 on an average the second runner-up, I mean the runner-up at second position is a clash between the MediaTek MT series of processors and the Intel Atom series of processors at 3.5, 3.25 points out of 5 on an average. The second runner-up 
at the third position is the Samsung Exynos series of processors at 2.75 points on an average and finally the loser the last position goes to the Apple's A series of processors at 1.25 points out of 5 on an average thank you for watching the video guys please remember to like share and subscribe my video and please make if I made any mistakes or any uh, please give any suggestions if you want to in the comment section below. Thank you.